Hey y'all, it's Arwen of Tarot by Arwen. I've got a couple of uh, reviews on deck for you. One that I'm doing today is an old deck. This is actually my second deck that I ever owned and it's the first deck that I actually learned to read with. My first was the Thoth and I had a few issues with the images. They weren't bright enough for me. I'm a bright colored person. So the story behind this deck is that I was um, a baby witch. I was uh, had just dedicated to the path. This was in 1985 when I dedicated. No, couldn't have been 85. Anyway, it was sometime in the early 80s. Um, and I, my teacher, my high priestess said, you need to have a reading deck, a tarot deck. And I said, well, I've tried reading tarot and I just didn't really connect with it. And she said, well, what deck were you using? And I told her and she said, well, that may be the problem. Let's go take a look at some decks. And we went to a psychic fair that was in town. Um, one of the body, mind, spirit that ones where they had lots of tarot decks. And I'm wandering, wandering, wandering. And I picked up this one little deck and said, I like this one. It feels good. And she said, well, let's, you know, get that one and let's see how it works. And I went home and I opened it up and immediately connected with it. Uh, on levels that I didn't expect. It kind of, um, yeah, kind of freaked me out. Oh, my shirt, Jungle Love, Save the Rainforest, just in case you wonder. And anybody who's now got Jungle Love stuck in their head, I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Back to tarot. Um, so it's the Herbal Tarot by Michael Tierra. And um, I want to say can... Candace Canton. Here's the book. The book's a little hard to find these days. I know that U.S. Games recently found some more in their warehouse. They might still have them. If they do, I'd get the set. Uh, this is a super easy deck to read with. Great for beginners. It's called The Spirit of the Herbs, A Guide to the Herbal Tarot. And this one has pictures of the decks. And what it also has is it tells you... Um, Alfalfa Medicago Sativa. So it gives you the name of the herb, the Latin name, and then Fire of Earth. But this is the King of Pentacles. So it gives you, that's the, um, the Elemental Dignity, I believe. Not one of my strong points. I'm still working on that. But, and you get Jupiter and Leo, Mars and Leo. You get all this information. They give you, um, under each plant allies, what they call them. You get spiritual properties, medicinal properties, dose and preparation, key words, affirmation, and herbal allies. So herbs that work with this herb. It's invaluable, this little book. You don't even need the deck if you have this book, if you want to get some herb lore in. So I do recommend this as a, a, a a deck that you don't have to have the book to read the deck, but the book is super valuable in what it adds to the, the deck itself. Um, this time I have scanned the cards in and I have put them in for you so you'll see them um, each and I'll show you the deck, the cards, but you'll get a, another image of them. We're going to start with um, the High Priest. And I love his herb. It's Sage. Um, there we go. That's a better image. I'm sitting in the sunlight with my lights turned off. But the sage with the high priest. And what a great herb for the high priest. The high priest is the hierophant or the pope. And he is the, um, the taskmaster, the structure, the rules guy. So sage and wisdom really works on that card. I love strength in this. No lion, but a woman just gently, she's just reaching out and pushing that over. And her herb is cayenne. And as many of you will know, a little goes a long way. And I really love how her, um, her robe, her scarf here, or her cape complements the, the cayenne herb, the cayenne peppers they're growing. Um, and like I said, a little cayenne goes a long way, unless you're a crazy Louisiana girl like me, and you think that there's no such thing as too much heat. Yeah, that's me, kind of like that song. I ain't never had too much fun. Oh, this is going to be a musical video. Many of you will be running now. I apologize. Um, death? Death? 
elder flowers. And I love the sun in the back. Is it coming up or is it setting? A very nice thing. And you can look up elder flowers and learn more about the herbs as you look through this deck. It's kind of a nice meditative deck in that case because you can look at it and and then go and study the herb and just feel how it integrates for you. And this is one of my favorites. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've heard me talk about this. The tower is garlic. Now, garlic is a clean you out kind of herb. Um, I love garlic. Again, you can't have too much. Luckily, my hubby agrees with me. Um, but it's a great herb for this because it is one of those all or nothing kind of herbs. You can't really put a little garlic in something. It flavors everything. It, it affects everything, right? And so does a tower moment. It affects everything. The star is an interesting herb. It's skull cap. And she's so pretty. She's She's got that connection up and down. She's got the stars in the water. And I really, really love this. I, I like that she's pouring it out and she's got this calm, peaceful demeanor. The moon is one of my favorite herbs for scent. It's lemon balm. Very traditional moon with um, the scorpion coming up out of the water. Well, I guess it's not too traditional because there's no dogs in it. There's usually a dog and a wolf. And here we have um, a lizard and a scorpion. But lemon balm for the moon. Psychic, growing, understanding. The world is comfrey. Comfrey. is seen as a weed in many many places but it is an all all-inclusive herb uh, it really can do a lot and so I think that's a great herb for this card moving into the aces the ace of swords is chamomile or chamomile <coughs> I have to tell y'all don't ever offer me chamomile tea I think it tastes like moose piss. I don't know why we say stuff like that because I've never actually tasted moose piss. Have you? I guess that's what I imagine moose piss to taste like. Now that I've said the word moose piss, that's actually two words, five or six times, we'll just move on to the next card, which is Ace of Cups. And it is Lotus. And I love Lotus. It's a card of enlightenment and joy and opening and spiritual enlightenment. Ace of Pentacles makes me giggle. It's whole grains. And what a great way to start your day with some whole grains and get your um, belly going the right way. I almost talked about bowels again. I might have talked about poop. Yarrow is our Ace of Wands. You'll notice that I had my Aces out of order. Um, but look, look these different herbs up and see how they work. Now I'm going to look at some um, different... I'm getting them in order because they're all out of order. Where's my cups? Where is my... Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know why y'all hide stuff on me. Um, so we're going to go Air to Earth. Five of Swords. Interesting choice for the Five of Swords. It's a card of loss and driving people away. And it's mistletoe. Mistletoe is a very poisonous herb. Um, it's not something you want to muck around with unless you really know what you're doing. Because it, it's, it's dangerous. Some of the herbs in this deck are dangerous and they do give you warnings in the book. Ten of Wands. The well, taking on too much, and it is prickly ash bark. Yeah, so it's something you don't want to get too much of, and you don't want to get a little of. But it's a great another reminder for why you don't want to overburden yourself with something that's going to hurt you. 
this one makes me laugh every time. 420, y'all. Ten of Cups. Marijuana Mary Jane. And it's a card of a happily ever after. It can be. Um, I, I don't in, in, indulge myself. I know that it's legal in some states. It's not legal where I live. And I'm not a fan of it for myself. So, no judgment. I've got friends who, they need it for medical purposes. And it's a good thing. And last, our Six of Pentacles is Hops. If you're a brewer or a beer drinker, you know that hops are a very important um, part of beer making. And this is a card of generosity. So I like that because um, I see beer is one of those, you know, all, all people drink, all man, all woman drinks. You know, wine can be a little highfalutin, says the woman who drank some wine last night. But beer, you know, is one of those, everybody can have some. So, you know, who, who here has been moved based on a six-pack and a pizza, right? So, um, now we're going to look at the court cards as our last, and that's we're going to do the wands. So, page of wands is shepherd's purse. Shepherd's Purse is one of those overlooked herbs. It's a little bitty thing. And I like that I like that it was chosen for this uh, card. Aconite. And here they mark that it's a poisonous herb. It's Knight of Wands. But look at that. They put that right on there. Good job, U.S. Games. Knight of Wands. This is a very Rider Waite clone deck. You'll hear me talk about um, there's three types of tarot the Thoth type, the Marseille, and the Rider Waite. And this is super Rider Waite because it, it's very similar to the images. King of Wands is Cinnamon. Oh, wait. I missed the lady. Queen of Wands. Now, interesting, she's a card of fertility. Raspberry Leaf is her herb. And raspberry, if you don't know, this is a great tea. It's a great tonic for those who want to get pregnant. Now, when you are pregnant, don't knock off the raspberry tea because it's telling your body to you get ready to be pregnant. And you don't want to, once you're pregnant, you don't want your body to think, oh, I need to get ready to be pregnant because then it can be a, an unfortunate result. Um, here's our king of wands. Cinnamon. And cinnamon may be one of my all-time favorite herbs just for, um, I'll chew on a cinnamon stick. I've got a car spell recipe that uses cinnamon. Maybe I'll do the car spell for y'all too. That might be fun. Um, so thanks so much for joining me for another review from Arwen, me. I'm tarotbyarwen.com. You can find me on Facebook at tarotbyarwen1. That's my business page. Please join me there. Um, if you want a reading, I'm totally open to that. I do readings via Skype and phone. And in person, if you're in uh, my area. Right, and I'll tell you my area. Okay, it's New Mexico. Land of enchantment. I'm babbling. Um, and today is September the 15th, and it is Ember Honey Raven's birthday. Happy birthday, girl. I already sent you your happy birthday song. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Seek joy, y'all. And catch me on the next video. I hate this clicker. No, really. I hate the clicker. Why are you not clicking? Link! Dang it! Now I'm going to have 20 seconds of this. <laughs> Bye, y'all!